The overall goal of the following experiment is to assess the biocompatibility of polymers modified with recombinant CD47 by using the Chandler loop model of blood perfusion. This is achieved by first modifying polymers with recombinant CD47 using photoactivation chemistry. As a second step, modified polymers are exposed to human blood in the Chandler loop to mimic blood perfusion over implanted materials. Next, attached cells are fixed and stained to count the number of adhered cells as a measure of biocompatibility. The results show that recombinant CD47 promotes the biocompatibility of polymers and decreases the foreign body rejection based on the observation that significantly less cells adhere to recombinant CD47 modified polymers compared to unmodified polymers. This method can answer key questions in the biomaterials field, such as how to prevent rejection of implanted medical devices. The implications of this technique extend towards preventing implantable device failure because recombinant CD47 shows promise at promoting biocompatibility and preventing the foreign body response. To generate thiol-reactive polymeric surfaces and thiol-reactive recombinant CD47, first cut polymeric tubing into 40 centimeter long pieces, which is long enough to fit around the rotating wheels. Soak tubes in a 0.1% aqueous solution of hexaseal pyridinium for 90 minutes at room temperature on the Chandler loop apparatus. Rinse the tubes with sterile water three times after the 90 minute soak. Acidify a previously prepared solution of pyridyl dithiol benzone phenone by adding